Hi there, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Miss Karen and for today's video I am going to be telling you guys a little bit more about some things that I do to stay focused and to succeed in my online classes. Before we begin, I did want to mention that I hope you guys are all doing very well at home, that you guys are always trying your best in school, which is why I'm making this video, and I hope that you guys are not giving up because it is very important to always stay focused and to keep going. I know that going to school online is very hard because we have a very bad internet connection sometimes, or the links that the websites that our teacher is sending us aren't working. But the important thing is to always keep going and to always try different things because maybe one thing isn't working out, but another thing will. So remember, always ask for help. That is one very big and important thing to do. Never be afraid to ask questions. The first thing that I like to do to have a successful online day is when I wake up, I like to go ahead and wash my face and eat a balanced breakfast because washing my face will actually help me wake up and eating a balanced breakfast or eating any breakfast at all will help your brain get working for the day ahead. Another thing that I really like to do to start off my mornings is to change out of my pajamas because if I'm wearing my pajamas, it's going to make me want to go to sleep. So I go ahead and change just if I was going to school as a regular day. Yeah. One thing I did want to mention is that you need to make sure that you wake up with enough time so that you can do all of these things and give you enough time to fully wake up before class. Another thing that is going to help you a lot in succeeding on your online classes is preparing yourself a snack, which is something that I like to do when I'm going to be in class for a really long time like you guys have to be in. So for today's snack, I had some strawberries and having a snack that is healthy, not like potato chips, like some fruit, it's going to help you focus and be able to process more everything that you're learning in your class. After we have fully woken up, we have had our breakfast and we feel like we are ready for class, we are going to find a very quiet and peaceful place where we can actually join our online classes. For a lot of people, that's their room and for a lot of people that might be the kitchen so i usually have classes in my room and i always try to have everything i'm going to need around me so that way i don't have to stand up or disrupt my teacher so i have my books that i'm going to need for the classes i have today I have my notebooks, I have my laptop, I have my pencil pouch, and my colored pen so I can take notes, and I am fully awake and ready to start class. So what I do after that is I am going to open my laptop and begin to join my classes. I'm going to be taking notes about all the important parts of class. It is very important to take note and to know exactly what you guys are going to be learning about and take notes however you think you're going to be able to learn because these notes are going to be able to help you study later on. Also, remember that if you are going to have a question or you're very unsure about what you are learning about, always, always ask questions. Never be afraid to ask a question because if you don't ask the question, you're going to feel lost for the rest of the lecture. And there's nothing wrong with asking questions. Sometimes we don't understand something and it is important to be able to ask a question so we know exactly what we are learning. So another tip to be successful for me is I like to write everything that I need to turn in and by when down in a planner so this is my planner from last year and i like to color code everything by the classes i have and when they're due that way i won't forget when everything is due or when i have to do it or what exactly i have to do and as the pages keep going on i write a description that i am going to understand so i know exactly what i have to do when i turn in that piece of paper or when i turn in that assignment and those are all the tips that I have for you guys on how to cope with these online classes. I know that it's still going to be very hard, but as I said at the beginning, remember to just keep going. 
because I know that every single one of you guys is capable of making it through. I'm very proud of all of you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!